being above 100 and, and having a cost a cost requisition being below 700 is is amazing and look and this is where i want everybody to see this is 135 clients signed with a six percent conversion rate that's where i am right now i'm like kind of like you know the system that i have while it's not as fancy as what you got it's simple and it does what i need it to do and i'm kind of like at the if it ain't broke don't fix it the, the payment method for the facebook i switched it to my amex gold card yes good holy point. shit the rewards that i'm getting on that yes good point Fucking insane man welcome to my legal academy helping lawyers work smart scale fast and enjoy life all right so your cost for lead is still nothing has changed which is amazing if you want to do this in california is, is amazing and golden being above 100 and, and having a cost, a cost requisition being below 700 is is amazing and look and this is where i want everybody to see this is 135 clients signed with a six percent conversion rate who cares even you know you know a lot of people you know expect some crazy conversion rate um as long as you have intakers you know making the calls and the cost requisition is low it doesn't you know obviously you want to make this as high as possible but yeah so um yeah so what's the next step for you Moises, and what are you doing at this point well confession time is that um i haven't increased my budget since like march or april oh my god uh, i know i know i know, but, you like money? You know. <laughs> do you like money or you hate money i hate money <laughs> no you know what um it, man there's only so much you can do you know what i mean and that, that's really i i was i was topped out uh but, but uh we, we got some we got some lifeblood now so uh i'm gonna start i'm gonna do 20 percent this friday and uh another 20 percent the thing is that you get to a point where 20 percent is a lot man 20 percent of 600 <laughs> a day is uh you know so it's, i'm getting to the point where you know it's gonna be 650 700 a day soon uh i think by my next move right it's a lot if you just look at it in uh compared to where you were before but it's not that much relative to how much you're making and it's all relative obviously yeah and no it's it's actually very little compared to how much you're making that's the right kind of perspective um, yeah no from that point of view i i get it it's, we're just wait we're, we're now starting to cycle some of these cases that i picked up in you know february and all that so and you know we closed a couple pretty big litigation cases so we're, we're back on the saddle here so i i, I can resume the uh the scaling the ad spend up as I was previously. Please do. Um, and the reason is pretend like it's the golden age and you only have two months to take advantage of this. And then after that, it's going to Facebook is going to shut down and it's over. No, yeah. it's, it's not going to happen. Um, but you never know. Uh, obviously, and the good, good part about this whole program is it doesn't matter what platform you go on. It's the same principles. And I think we everybody understands the underlying principles behind everything behind the lead generation that whatever we, we go on YouTube, we could essentially if we focus the next two weeks. I could set up the same. We could set up the same thing for YouTube uh, for us, but you never know. And I want you to take full advantage of it. Just pretend like this is the golden age for you, the golden period, whatever you want to call it. And I want you to maximize on it. So there's no regrets down the line. And I remember those days when I used to generate, you know, PI clients for $692 and 85 cents, oh. you know, that's, you know, I don't want you having those kinds of thoughts later. Uh, I want you no, to feel like um, you know, when I had that time and I had the opportunity, I maximized the hell out of it and I made a shitload of money and I'm so glad that I did. Like, that's the kind yeah, of no, I'm we're going to we're going to double down for uh, July. The goal for July is obviously to increase the budget. And then I'm finally going to activate my Washington Spanish ad. Um, so that's uh, that's sort of big for me. I'm curious to see what what that's going to do. I have high hopes for it. Uh, so we'll see. But yeah, that's an uh, increased budget for California, activate Washington. And then, uh, man, I need to start looking into the legal funnel. I'm, I'm paying for it, but I'm not doing I, I I just have, you know, I'm spread so thin that I haven't really looked at it yet. I don't know. I have to think about this. I'm like, if it's if the Google Sheet is already working well for you. That's it. That's where I am right now. I'm like kind of like, you know, the system that I have, while it's not as fancy as what you got, it's simple and it does what I need it to do. And I'm kind of like at the, if it ain't broke, don't fix it uh, point right now. The only thing like, I know it could, this could be higher. Uh -huh. So potentially, you know, potentially with legal funnel, it could have been 9%, but a nine, 6% versus 9% is a big difference. You know how much yeah. more so? 
by a factor of 30 of 33 percent or no right. more i i suck at that i i'm just saying yes to your numbers because i assume you know what you're doing. <laughs> that's the only one that, the roi was something i had to learn but this one is the next one that i'm trying to learn the difference between six and nine is what percentage does anybody know how to calculate that i, I thought I, the way that Isn't i did it, it was 50 or wait uh, jeffrey you yeah, want to give your that a 50 percent increase you would assume like right um so you do nine minus six is three but you do three over six to give that percentage jeffrey you want to uh, share your man we're all lawyers here we don't Actually, know shit about math you're asking the wrong group of people i i can't help you on that one either i haven't done that in a long time the 40 percent difference i'm like what how's this 40 percent yeah it's not what you think yeah I, I always the way that i always did it was the opposite difference right My, nine nine minus six right and then so now the question was, was like three over six or three over nine but that's not yeah. that's apparently not the different that's not it it's apparently a 40 percent difference so this part let's let's see if we can figure it out so let's see what it is it's the is this the conversion rate what do you what do you this is the, the the difference percentage between two numbers. So let's just say we went from six yeah, percent to nine percent. What's the difference? It's a forty percent. Uh, it's difference. the op opportunity, right? Yeah. So like that means this, you know, this is a six to nine percent. We could have been forty percent more than one hundred thirty-five clients. So this could have actually been uh, fifty-four more clients. So we actually we could have been at one hundred eighty-nine clients. So one hundred eighty-nine minus where we are right now, like basically, um, it's fifty-four clients. That he missed by not having a nine percent conversion rate. This is what Chat GPT said. How to calculate the difference in two numbers? Calculate the percentage increase from six to nine. You can use the formula. Formula. Okay, nice. Uh, God bless you, much. It's so funny. Uh, let's see. So you were right originally, man. It says fifty percent. But this apparently it's not percentage difference calculator. I understand. Nah, that understand. website's stupid. I trust them. <laughs> uh let's see if this makes sense to calculate the percentage the increase from six to nine i love it this is, this could be really simple uh it's the new value minus the old value divided by yeah this is just the roi essentially um i guess so it's like you take the higher number minus the smaller number you get the difference and you divide that by the smaller number essentially which is, this is 90 50 percent yeah i don't know i'll get yeah Either forty percent or fifty percent difference, but that that could be potentially be the difference. Uh, Moises, is that maybe potentially if you would have had a little bit more automations, more tracking, you could have that could have been higher. It doesn't hurt. I think, you know, I I started off with all Google Sheets, and I'm still a lot of a lot of the stuff that I do is still on Google Sheets. It doesn't hurt. It could only help you. So, and it could be a potentially good experience for you to understand the pipelines and all this the whole stuff. Doesn't matter what kind of sell software use it's always the same principles so i would say just message uh air fraud uh moises it, it's definitely on my to-do list and it's on my july you know to-do uh, list and i you know my intaker is very resourceful very good so i know he'll be able to help me sort of deploy this um so you know i'm not really concerned about the tech aspect of it or or yeah. you know can i get it to work i that's not going to be a problem yeah it's just more doing it man um but yeah, so that, um, I got my my eyes set on increasing the budget because I will say I have noticed I have been getting less leads. The quali the qual the quantity, sorry, of leads per month has Ooh. slightly gone down. Okay, good. I'm glad you brought it up. Easy win to do, Moises, is to duplicate the ad set, call it refreshed, and re relaunch it. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's all you got to do. And when, when the cost per lead starts going up too high, or, or it's been like three, four months, and it's just um, sometimes the, the cost per lead just stays stagnant, which is good. Well, I mean, that's amazing. I mean, you're still getting the same number of leads, and things aren't the market isn't getting tougher for you. But if it's like you just want to freshen it up, you literally just duplicate the ad set, and you just have to monitor the quality at that point. But I've, yeah. I've seen, I do that every month or so. I do that. I go find my top ad sets and I duplicate it. And I keep, continue doing that. And I get much lower cost per lead when I do that. And then I, at that point, I just monitor to make sure that I'm actually generating clients from this new ad set. It wasn't just Facebook went and found these new people to show it to, which is not relevant for them at all. Just charging me. 
but I'm not actually getting clients from it. So just do that. Hey, hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you're a lawyer and you're looking to work smart, scale fast and enjoy life, right below this video, you'll find a link to book a call to speak to my team. So we can tell you how we've been able to help over 500 law firm owners scale their law firm. Now back to the video. Hey, one thing I wanted to mention, I don't know how people have their ads set up, but two months ago, I set up my uh, payment method for the Facebook. Sorry, I don't know why I'm speaking so slowly. Yeah. The, the payment method for the Facebook, I switched it to my Amex gold card. Yes, good holy point. shit, the rewards that I'm getting on that. Yes, good point. Fucking insane, man. I've, I've accrued like four grand in rewards already. I'm over 10 million points. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, dude, uh, you do uh, like freaking hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, man. For sure. Let me provide my notes about this. Yeah, I think all of us should. Uh, when we're spending a lot of money on marketing, here's the answer. Um, I, this is I geeked out about this a couple years ago. Is that cash back, Moses, or what? What do you say for? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I booked, I booked two plane tickets this morning, one plane ticket yesterday, and a five night all on point, hundred percent free. Yeah, this is one of the cool perks about spending money on marketing. It's, uh, essentially, you have unlimited trips for the rest of your life. There's no way that I could ever imagine spending all the points that I have. But here it is. Yeah. Uh, for anybody who doesn't, if you guys don't have these, this is like literally go down the list. Um, yeah, check your cards and figure out which one has the best rewards and put that uh, one down. I mean, I wouldn't even, if you don't have this, I would just say get this. So here, the first one is Chase Business Preferred. It's basically the best bank for your buck. Uh, I believe it's like $95 a year or something like that. You get three points on marketing up to 150K. Um, and another cool strategy with this, if you're on to the whole Chase world, is if you also get a Chase Sapphire Reserve, which is what I do. I have a Chase Sapphire Reserve on a personal personal credit card. Whenever I book trips, I always book it. I transfer my points to this Chase Sapphire Reserve and I book my flights and hotels with this card. And when you do that, you get your points are worth 50% more. But now essentially I'm getting four and a half points back on trips and flights. And then the second one is what Moises mentioned, American Express Gold. It's the second best business card. And the reason is, yes, it's more points, but the reason why I don't like it as much is the, uh, and I had to look up the back end all the stuff. It's like when you go finally redeem it, you get more bang for your buck for Chase points versus American Express. Um, it's like cheaper, cheaper flights for cheaper hotels and things like that. More bang for your buck basically uh, but it is good um and that is also up to 150k um and if hopefully all of us will get above spending over 150k a year then ideally you want to have both and then that's what i do for me like i first start off with this until i reach 150k then i switch over to american express gold and then for everything else and th those are the best two for marketing but for everything else uh it's the capital one spark cash, it's 2% cash back. Cash is always good. Um, basically, that's the card that I use for everything else outside of marketing. Um, unlimited 2% cash back. 